Hey guys, we're back. I'm trying to adjust. Okay, the camera's over here. <laughs> so, I told y'all we were going to do our wine Wednesday. I'm so excited because I bought this last week and I didn't get to try it. So, let's get into this one. This one, I got it at, of course, my favorite store, Sam's. And it's the Stella Rose Collection. And um, I think they're all bubbly. Not sure, but there's a pink semi-sweet. There's a Prosecco. There's a Rosso semi-sweet, a Moscato Rose, and a Stella Peach. I have only tried, I think, the Moscato Rose and maybe the Rosso semi-sweet. I don't think I've tried any of the other ones, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. I've been... I know that everybody has their preference on how to chill their wine. I know there's sometimes you have to have it at a certain temperature, blah, blah, blah. Sorry guys, I like mine cold. So, I... <laughs> oh, these are fun little, fun little ones, for sure. I think we're only gonna actually get maybe a sip out of all these. start us with the Prosecco because I know I've had Prosecco in the past and it's not as sweet and I don't think it's got a temperature on these not a temperature um, a sweet gauge on them so I'm not sure how <clears throat> how sweet they are or not um, yeah this is a sparkling wine it says extra dry so this is a good one to start with because as y'all know I love my sweet wines uh, I don't know about Julie and Anthony are joining me today I don't know if they like, I think from what I can tell, Julie likes sweet, and Anthony, he's not much of a wine person, but he will drink it. Oh, these are fun, because they're not that hard to open, so that's great. I thought I was going to have to pop some cork, which I wasn't looking forward to. Oh, it is bubbly. Okay, so, again, we're just going to try a little bit each, just to see. And I want this one because it's got the little bitty. I got these wine glasses for um, a Christmas giveaway. And it they all came with them, but I think we lost them. So you can smell. I can smell that it does smell like. So when I hear dry wine, it does smell to me like beer. That's the first scent that I get. I don't know about y'all. Is that tart. what y'all? Huh? Tart. 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 So yeah, I smell like um, like a good beer, I guess. Okay, so this is dry. So this would actually be good for um, cheese. <laughs> for your um, moscatos. So I'm not moscatos. Um, what are they? Mimosas. The mimosas. Hi guys, whoever's joining us. Hi Sam. We're doing our wine Wednesday. I've been dying to try this set just to try it. And this one is a prosecco. It is dry. You can taste it's dry. I can still feel it in the back of my throat. It's not, Prosecco is not one of my favorites, but, you know, I thought I'd try it because that was the only one that was in this set. So, it is dry. Uh, it is a good wine if you're not looking for something too sweet and you want that bubbly. And it's great, I think it would be pretty good for your uh, mimosas and stuff, so. I don't like it. Julie's not a fan. I like that I can close these. And I can save them. So I might do a mimosa one day with that one. It just tastes like... Oh, 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 Next, I think I want to... give it a four. A I four it, out of ten? Yeah. I give it a zero. Yeah, I think it's probably about a oh, three, four, because I can feel the heartburn right now, honestly. Yeah. I think next... Peach is not my favorite in wines, so I think I want to try that one next. And I don't know if there's a way to open these easy, because I see a little thing... Lynn says hello. Hello. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to have Anthony open that one. I'm going to have Julie open that one just so we can get them open. So it's, okay, I see a little tab at the top. This one has one. 
We're not going to open them, open them until we're going to taste them, but I want to try the peach next, so we'll try that one. These are fun little bottles, though. I like them. Okay, so that one, this one. I think out of all of them, I'm probably going to like the rose and this, um, the Rosso. If you've never had Stella Rose, I do recommend it. It is a good wine. It's not too crazy expensive. Um, it's fairly reasonable. Like I said, this pack was about 17, 18 bucks. So Anthony's gonna pour us this next one. As, as you can see, it does have a little bit of bubbles in it. And this is a peach. Yeah, I love peach. This is a peach one. I like that they came in a little bitty set. I'm, I'm really excited about this because I like this. It's um, you get a variety and stuff. Yeah, you can right off the bat. I do smell the um, the peach for sure. Oh wow! Okay, I like that one. I wasn't expecting that. It's um, it's good. It's good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Anthony's probably gonna finish it, but um. Yeah, it's it's got a good taste. It's light. It's refreshing. Um, compared to the Prosecco, of course, this is going to be... Anthony just finished it, so I guess I can't get any more. <laughs> I'll give you a 10. Samantha says she needs wine, too. <laughs> you need some wine? I need wine. I'm having wine Saturday. What's going on Saturday? So that one was a peach, and I do recommend peach if you like let's wait for the let's do the peach first. I do recommend that peach if you like peach and something light and refreshing because it is pretty light it's got the nice balance of sweet I would say that one is um, about a seven for me yeah because uh, I, I do like mine a little sweeter and like I said I'm not very much a peach person but I, I think Samantha you would love that peach if, if you like peach the next one we're trying is the pink Moscato, right? Uh, so then ask where can I get that? This package, I got it at um, Sam's. Yes, we're doing the pink. And it is a cute little box that it came in. I found it at Sam's. And it comes like this. And each one. And I still had some because I was almost tempted to buy another one. So um, this is a pink we're trying right now. And it's the Stella Rose Stella Pink. Oh, I think I like that one. This one, I can't really smell anything, can y'all? Which like, is good, because like, like that Prosecco like, hit me in the face, yeah. and so did the peach. I like this one a lot. Okay, this is light. It's not too heavy. Again, a lot of these are pretty light. What I mean by light is it's not... Bitter. bitter and it's not um, heavy where in the sense like sometimes there are some wines that you taste and they're like whoa like oh, yeah. you can tell I have a couple that I might show y'all on another wine Wednesday that are very heavy but they're good so this one was this one's good give it nine. Give about five, five it's not too sweet I still kind of taste a little bit of a semi-sweet which that's what it is it's a semi-sweet one so it's not going to be too, too sweet, but it, it's a good one. Next, we're going to try the Rose, and I have a feeling this one's going to be one of my favorites. Uh, this is a Moscato by Stella Rose. Um, uh, Rosso. No, no, not the Rosso, sorry. Moscato Rose. So this is going to be a little bit darker than the pink. It's got some good bubbles. Okay, I can smell that one a little bit. It smells like wine, like Moscato pink. I don't know if y'all ever, if y'all ever smell wine. I yeah, Samantha. I hate bitter. Like the Prosecco, that's not one that we're gonna like unless, like I said, you're gonna use it for um, a, a really sweet orange for your mimosas and stuff. So what do y'all? Did y'all try it? No, not yet. Oh. Yeah, that part. <clears throat> that's a little bit, yeah, that's not as sweet. I figured this one was going to be sweet. Not and it's one. not. Looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving. Quote of the day. I really wish they would have put the scale, because on some of them they do put that little sweet scale. 
So this one is probably about a five for me. I said it's six. Uh, yeah, I'd say about a five, six, because it's not super sweet. I, I, I really thought it would have been sweeter. Yeah. And I, I, we're not mixing them, guys, because we're pretty much drinking mm. all of it out of them. Yep. I don't know. I think so far the the favorite is the the semi sweet uh, Stella Pink for me, and the peach. Surprisingly, I did like that peach. Next is our Rosso. Um, hopefully, y'all can see that our Rosso semi sweet by again Stella Rose. <clears throat> again, I truly recommend you try Stella wines because they are delicious especially if you go with one of the the black is good i wish they would have had that in here hey willie uh willie says hi Ooh. to you Ooh, willie. He says, yeah he said i you know what's funny willie i don't know if you can hear me but i saw some salsa that said zavala and i was i was gonna i took a picture and i meant to send it to you and i think i just forgot but yeah i was like hey you make salsa now but no so this one again is the rosto semi-sweet Again, I can't smell a strong smell from it, which is good. I mean, I'd hate to, like, I hate the smell of beer, guys. I really do. I just don't like beer. And when I t smell that Prosecco, that's what the first instinct and smell that I got from it. What do y'all think? Eight. Oh, yeah, this is probably a little bit more my, um. Sorry. Yeah, this is probably about an eight for me. Yeah. Yeah, so I think this one is a little bit. <clears throat> Again, these are all semi-sweet for the most part, except for that peach, I think, was probably the sweetest. And then the um, Stella Pink was pretty sweet. So I would say if I had to put them in order of sweetness, I would say it's going to be the Prosecco, which is not sweet at all. The it's Some people that draw, do bitter and dry wines, they're going to say Prosecco is too sweet for them. Trust me, I have seen that. So I would say the Prosecco is probably like the number, the last one. Uh, the Moscato Rose, which fooled me. I really thought that was going to be one of the top favorites. And then the, um, <clears throat> which one was the last one we tried? This one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then it's the, um, then it would be the Stella Pink. And then I, th I really think the peach was sweeter than, than them to me. You don't think so? The peach is sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's our that's our tasting for today, guys. Um, I really enjoyed these. I'm glad I got to try them. I wish they would do this with so many wines because that would help people decide what kind of wine they want. And if they're like us, I love sweet. So, again, I always go for the Moscatos. And like I said, this one says Moscato, and I probably would have bought it one day and been like, oh, well, that doesn't taste like Moscato. So thank you, Stella Rose, and thank you, Sam's, for getting this collection together. And like I said, you can go pick you one up at Sam's, and they're about 18 bucks, of course, plus tax. But they're great little sizes and fun for giveaways, especially for the holidays that are coming up for Christmas. If you want to give something to somebody, it's a great gift. Movie theaters. Movie. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Anyways, but yes. Um, Putting No, no, don't, don't listen to, to him say that. Again, they're great for holidays, great for giveaways. You know, you've seen the 24 days of Christmas. Uh, I've seen they had a avid calendar, Ooh. and it, I've seen that they have wines, but I'm always scared to buy those because they're not all sweet so I stay away from those but this one I wanted to give it a shot and I'm glad I did thank you Julie and Anthony for joining me for Wine Wednesday thank you guys for joining and listening to our input about it and I hope y'all go pick one up so thanks guys for watching I'll catch y'all later bye